How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome to another review. This is basically Christmas right now. We're reviewing everyone in the team of the year. Well, it's team of the year, it's not Christmas. But today is Mr. Robert Lewandowski. Oh, Lewandowski, if you are Thomas Muller out there. We're going to review him today. This is uh, possibly like one of my better... Uh, the players I was more anticipated using. Mbappe, no all about him. Uh, Messi, he's always usable, but never a brilliance for that team that he was. And Lewandowski is always borderline sensational. So we're going to review him today to see if he's passed that borderline and see what he's capable of on this game with his brand new team of the year 98 rated item guys if you do enjoy this review you know what to do you bring that tight you smash that like subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around these parts on the youtubes of course and uh drop a comment thoughts on Lewandowski Lewandowski and uh whether he deserved the Ballon d'Or what are you guys thinking what are you guys thinking anyways he's got six foot one when it does come to uh, the heights how tall he is, high, high to medium work rates, so he's going to push that back line, and he's going to like basically lead the line for your team. Four star skills, four star weak foot and right foot primarily, these stats are jacked to the max. Well, not technically the max, I mean he's got 85 agility, but you look at these, right? Let's go on a 99 show as we do for the team of the years, and at a first glance I can only see five. But I mean, it's 599s. So, 99 in second position and finishing, 99 as well. Uh, passing does not have any 99s in there. Dribbling has a 99 reactions. Head and accuracy, 99. And uh, strength, 99 as well. It does have a few close ones as well, like 98s, 97s. I will go through that. Now, a chem style I did use on the card was engine. Why did he use engine, Marshall? Uh, just, uh, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, give him that extra bit of... Fluidity, responsiveness, and by the way, if you guys ever used the Lewandowski in the past and thought, you know what, this card's not responsive, this one will change your brain, your mindset, and everything uh, that you once thought of Robert Lewandowski on a FIFA game, of course. He's got 92 acceleration and 94 sprint speed with the with the engine boost, he gets plus 5 in both categories. Uh, well, plus 5 sprint speed goes to 99, plus 5 acceleration goes to 97. Pretty proud of that mathematics, boys. I uh, start 99 finishing, 97 shot power, 95 long shots, 97 volleys, 98 penalties, and 99 attacking positioning. So when it does come to finishing his chances or his dinner, he's gonna get it down him, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna score nearly every single time. He's got 97 composure as well. Put him in a pressure situation, he's gonna blast it. Uh, in terms of the passing, he's got 88 vision, 93 free kicks, uh, 93 short pass, 84 long pass, which isn't the craziest, but a lot of people, right? They're focused on the long pass for an attacker, like a striker, for example. When are you going to see them switch the play? Never. You're going to never see them switch from one flank to the other. Long passing for me, it's good for CDMs, so the other tops and stuff like that. The CMs, the right back and the left back. The, maybe the right midfielder and left midfielder, you play like a 4-4-2. Apart from that, you're never going to use the long passing anyway, so it simply does not matter. It's got 86 gifts, uh, boots. When it does come down, a 2 dribbling, 85 agility, 91 balance. He's got 99 reactions and 98 ball control, 94 dribbling and 97 composure. Like I say, engine does boost those kind of lesser stats in that category. 99 head accuracy and strength with 98 jumping. Just keep in mind as well, he's six foot one. This guy in here, tremendous. 88 stamina, 94 aggression, and as you can see by the player traits, he's got one of the favourites this year. Finesse shot, he also has the outside of foot shots. If he's coming in from the right hand side, he'll hit it with the outside of the right foot, which by the way, I've seen a lot of clips on Twitter and stuff like that of people scoring uh, with the outside of the foot shot. Now, with me, in my experience, it was actually very accurate uh, with those strikes. Unfortunately, I don't believe that off the top of my head anyways, not this bit, but like off the top of my head, um, I'm, I'm, I don't believe I scored any outside of foot shots, but I have seen them scored many times on Twitter, and he does have the solo player as well. But that's what we're going to do now, jump into gameplay, showcase Robert Lewandowski. So here we go, lads, into the final review, or gameplay anyways, of uh, the final striker. Unless the 12th man does get a striker, and I believe it's between, or will be between, Salah, Ronaldo, Benzema. So yeah, it's, it's not the last striker review of team of the season. Well, team of the season. I'm getting ahead of myself there. Team of the year. We'll probably get like a 12th man and stuff like that. But uh, this is the last starting 11-1 because we've done Messi, Mbappe and now it's a of Robert Lewandowski. One thing I would tell you straight away about this card is responsive. Responsive! Now, you might think that hey, Lewandowski's always responsive. He's never felt agile. He's never felt agile, boys. I mean, unless he gets to the top 
top like tier cards. It's difficult to feel agile when you're six foot one and you've got a, a frame like Rob Lewandowski does. The difference between like past and now is this one does feel agile. He feels responsive, and when I do a button input, it feels like I've done a button input, and that normally doesn't happen uh, with many players on this game. By the way, you've seen an over the top through ball to. I want to say Pelly. I believe it was Pelly, anyways. Uh, fantastic through ball. I'm not lagging, am I? My gameplay is lagging for some reason when I'm watching it back here, but uh, I don't know if my camera is. Yeah, his passing's good as well, so if he does drop into that deeper role at times, uh, you just put the over the top through ball, something like that, or through ball, and it is very, very accurate. He did score quite a few goals for me, six in total, he gets a chance here, does take the shots. That's a fantastic save by the goalkeeper. Oh, uh, and it does come down to pros. Pace is amongst them, lads. He's got a long stride. He's got a very long stride. And look at that run, by the way, the positioning as well. And that's almost like a scoop chip. Almost like a scoop chip. Got his foot under it, and he just lifted it over the top of the keeper. Fantastic finish from Mr. Lewandowski. Uh, Pace-wise, because his positioning is so good, and uh, his movement is really good as well, the pace really benefits this card because not only does he have the acceleration of boost past opponents when they're going to put in a, a foot for the challenge or anything like that, he's also got that sprint speed. That will maintain his distance from the centre back should he get in behind defences. And with the movement that he possesses anyways, he's going to get in behind defences. And when he does and he gets up in the goal, what's he going to do? It's going to be clinical. 99 finish, 97 shot power, 95 long shots, uh, 97 volleys with 97 composure. If he doesn't score, it's kind of more human error. He's not Obviously, he's not going to score every single time. Always say this. 99 is there for a reason. It gives you the element of doubt. Um, and, of course, the angles and stuff like that always reduces certain areas which you can score in. But, uh, yeah, unless it's like human error and you know what you're doing at the game, he, he will bad goals. He will bad goals. And um, I tried him from many different angles. The one you've seen earlier as well where he did save it. In the air. Dominance. <laughs> Absolutely dominant, mate. You've seen that gigantic header right there, right? Back of the net. Absolutely great finish there from Robert Lewandowski. Now, this last goal, by the way which we're actually going to come on to right now, it's a weird one for me. Because this guy's playing, he's fully playing, you can see him on the attack right now, he's under control. And he's under control the entire time until I get into the opposition's penalty box and I'm about to take the shots. It's like his control almost dies. Like, literally just like conks out, maybe ran out of battery, maybe ran out of charge, PlayStation doesn't have batteries, just realised, now I look stupid. But look on this, boys, right? We get it into the box, Eventually, uh, once we do flick it over the shoulder, right? I sit him down and then he just like, see there, he's, a he's standing still. So, I mean, it was great build up and stuff like that from Robert Lewandowski. It's just, it's a bit, it looks a bit suspicious how he just dropped his controller. That's Division 1, by the way, as well. Fantastic goal. He's got the custom celebration. If you're wondering where that is, that is on our next generation consoles. But guys, what a great striker, and let's get into the summary. So there we have it then, lads, a little bit of Robert Lewandowski. A very, very, very good striker. If you're looking for a team this season, on a budget. Would you say 1.8 million is a budget, 1.6? I guess you would when you compare them to Messi and Mbappe, right? Uh, a budget, 1.8 million. But um, for what he brings to the table for that price... He's probably the best that you do get for that price. He brings a clinical striker, a one that will dominate like your forward line and defensive lines of your opponents, a one that can hold up the ball, also chin it on his head, run at players, the one that can easily burst past players with his pace, one that's got four star, four star, great passing and responsive dribbling, which I don't always say, always like associates uh, with Robert Lewandowski. He's got strength, he's got aggression. Talk about drive, talk about power, you know what I'm saying? But uh, he's a great, great striker on this game. Comparison-wise, again, similar to the other team of the years. Uh, there's no body that compares to this card that's going to match this card. So it is literally pointless. Obviously, look at that league. Um, who in that league could, like, compete with a Lewandowski? Um, honestly, lads, I'm looking at it right now. Haaland's a 90. He needs a better card in the future. Um, nobody. Now, nah, Kingsley Coleman's got a strike as well. Now, nah, nobody competes with this Lewandowski. Nobody within that division competes even closely with this Robert Lewandowski. 
It's uh, it's a bit silly actually me, me even making comparisons. So let's get into the other rating. Uh, you will see on your screen in a, a three, two, one, ten out of ten, boys. Ten out of ten. Um, he probably deserves that rating because, like I say on the Mbappe one as well, you want to see a major difference from their previous cards. This is a major difference. He's utterly sensational. Could he be upgraded? Could he get better? Of course, he could get 5-star, five 5-star. Five but the thing is, right now, this card, he's at the max of his abilities. And he's able to be used from now until the end of the year and staying at that end game tier. So 10 out of 10, fully is a fantastic player. And um, if you do get him, maybe untradeable packs, maybe upgrade packs, maybe, uh, I don't know, champion, Champions League. Champions League rewards, foot champs rewards, anything like that, so rival. If you pack him, basically use him. He's very, very good, uh, untradeable. You've won the lottery, mate. I, I wouldn't tell you to go put the lottery on, the lottery sucks, but um, he's definitely brilliant. And that leads us on to our value as well. Another 10 out of 10. I think for the price, you're not gonna get anyone at striker that can give you what he's given. You know what I'm saying? Look at like base you save you. What is he, like double the price? And that's an 89 base Eusebio. And I have that base Eusebio. Eusebio's going to score you a lot of goals. It's going to be very, very good. But again, it's double the price. Would you get the same output from a Rob Lewandowski? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. So I reckon even for like 1.8 million, 1.6 million, that's a good price. Should he drop? Even better. Should he go up? Yeah, he probably will. But uh, who, who's to say he will and he won't? So he, he probably will. Or he might won't. I don't know. I hate the market. I hate the market. I, I don't like markets. Points. I, I don't like markets, man. Hey, drop his price. Make him a, a, a like. Give everyone a Lewandowski. Actually, you can get a trial of a Lewandowski if you choose not to take Messi. It's in the team objective. If you choose Lewandowski, you get a free game Lewandowski team of the year. And if you choose Lionel Messi, you get a free game Messi team of the year. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, as for the enjoyment, 9.6. This card brings something different for. Kind of a traditional Lewandowski. He feels a lot better, a lot more responsive. And if you're going to take anything away from this review, it's the responsivity of the cards. Normally when I'll use Lewandowski, it's always like I press a button and then like, even though it's milliseconds, it feels like a lifetime that he, yeah, he's going to like dribble past someone. Whereas this one, it feels instant. It feels like I press it, it happens. Press it happens. Whereas sometimes you press it, and like I did say, even though you press it, it happens, it's that little extra gap. It's like a millisecond, but in your head, it is huge. And in like games and stuff like that, it's massive as well. You look at like delay, you look at lag. Why does that make a difference to your player experience? Because it's not instant, it's delayed. It affects you negatively in your game and experience because the button inputs aren't literally instant, instant. With Lewandowski, it feels that. It's just different. But guys, that is the end of the Team of the Year Attackers reviews on this channel that are currently available right now. If you guys have enjoyed these, please smash your like on this video. Team of the Year midfielders are out at 6 p.m. tonight, I believe, as well. Jorginho, Kevin De Bruyne, and Golo Kanti. Is, is that the free? Maybe you get an SPC as well. But if you want to see any of them ASAP, and I mean like tonight or anything like that, uh, unless it's an SPC, make sure you drop it in the comments. If you've enjoyed this review, please drop a like and uh, get amongst the comments as well. I'd like to see you guys' comments and talk between each other. Give us your thoughts on Lewandowski. Give us your experiences if you have used the cards or even faced him. A lot of people do face uh, Lewandowski's and have like maybe a positive experience against him, maybe a negative experience against him and uh, different players on, on, on the game in general. And I want to hear your thoughts when you come up against them. Are they easy to defend? Are they very difficult to defend? Let me know, because everyone's... Like, every card is on the game, right? Everyone will play a card or use a card at a certain point, and everyone's got an experience, whether against or with certain players. So please let me know your, your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I did see... I like to say, I always reference your, uh, your experience with the card as well. If you have any goals that you score with the team years or anything like that, Actually, we might even add them to the end of the reviews. If you've got any clips you score with the team near, please send it to me on Twitter. I'll try and get in the reviews. But obviously, it's got to be like high quality or something like that because we're all about the quality, boys. But thank you very much for watching today. If you have enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you drop a comment and we'll catch you in the next one.